like uh, some leeway for some products that were hard to get organic. But uh, it's called the NOP list. But they shortened that list. They allowed more in the beginning because people, there wasn't enough organic of these products. But now what they've done is they've shortened that list. You cannot use any of these other products anymore uh, as a substitution. They want pure organic as much as possible. So, yes, people can trust it. That's just like Monsanto with propaganda trying to put doubts in people's head that they can even trust these products. And these people are serious, let me tell you. So what, good to know. Oh, what sorry. products are you, are you promoting there? What actual products do you guys have there? To, well, to neither show. one of us um, have any pro I'm there just representing Smart Health Talk, the radio show, and okay. our message to, you know, I'm with Bev. A hundred percent, you know, I, I would love every single thing I eat to be organic and not have to worry about it. I don't think we should have to worry about it. And Trev is over there being a volunteer trying to get people to sign the petition for mandatory GMO labeling. Uh, for I would the, like a that, chance too. For Californians to vote on this and make sure that we at least know what the heck is in our food. Yeah, like um, the pink slime. Yeah, you know, like what the heck are you guys putting in our food that we're putting in our bodies? And right. I believe food can heal. Food is so healing if you have food that has nutrition in it. And uh, I mentioned earlier this one guy said, Dr. Green, and said that our brains uh, don't know calories. Our brains know nutrients. Right. And so we're eating these calories, but there's no nutrients. And our brain is just keeps sending the message, hey, I'm starving. I'm starving. Give me real food. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I, I, and I just want to tell people there's so many great um, things going on here tonight. I plan to go to this women's uh, networking event because these are, this, is my, this is my kind of people, okay? <laughs> and I, <laughs> I want to be I want to be hanging out with other women that believe like I do because sometimes you feel all alone out here you know like Trevor oh, Trevor yeah. over here like trying to fight the fight at 19 yeah. he's like the only one of his friends but they're you know they've got like all kinds of other great events over here we've got parties going on uh, you know but it, it's just the, the energy here is just so incredible and the people I, I love them they're I you know I meet them and the, their heart you know behind what they're doing is just like nothing else because they're feeding us. Yeah, people are really right. when people are passionate about food. It's like no other passion, really. You know. It's yeah, like, uh, that, you said it really good there. Well, Robin, I'll, thank you. Well, talking about food, you too. That's one thing that I love to do is to eat and cook. <laughs> I really do. I can tell that about you right away. Pat. Yeah, and a lot of the stuff I go down to Clark's Health Food Store and Trader Joe's. That's where I get a lot of my stuff. I, that's, those are my favorite stores, too. Yeah, and that's really cool. And also, before we have to let you go, you uh, had the program, uh, the Smart Talk. Why don't you bump out when you're on the air, darling? Uh, what, what does that mean? When you program. Oh, it's on uh, 4 to 5 p.m. on Thursdays. On here, right here at KCAA, 10.50 a.m. Right. Yep. That's it. Great. <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> well, uh, ladies, do you have another quick question before we go? No, that, that I'm going to research more information on that, especially in my present condition. So I really appreciate um, getting the information we've received today, and I'm going to listen I, in to Smart Talk. Well, can I, can I share just one other quick thing that, uh, that I no one else has probably heard on the radio uh, that I found out from the Bragg person that it, over 80% of the olive oil has, has been adulterated, mm -hmm. and it's causing people allergies. Unless you buy extra that. virgin organic olive oil, you cannot trust it. It has not been changed. So I just wanted oh. to give you that. Yeah. We shared that not too long ago. There's um, a certain thing that it has to say on there, like the harvest date or... Um, and it has to say IOCC, International um, Olive Commission, or something like that, and then they also have one for California, is what she told right. me. Right. But that was, like, new to me, but you guys are on top of it, I guess, so... We try. Yeah. Yes, we do. <laughs> and that's what makes us so happy, and we keep on doing this lovely show and having a good time in life. And we're sharing stuff together. And, and now we're all going to be extra virgin. I mean, take extra virgin <laughs> off. <laughs> uh huh. I'm going straight to the store. Okay, Christina. <laughs> well, hon, I hate to cut this short, but on the timing today, thank you so much. And definitely call me next week. Let's get everything uh, worked out and do more of this and keep it going. Okay, Beth. Thanks Thank you again. so much. Have a great weekend, guys. You're welcome, guys. guys. Bye. Bye.
nice lady. Very nice lady. It would be fun to be at that show. But I heard oh, it was yeah. pretty pricey. I heard it was, uh, my friend is there, and I think Nancy Levesque, and I, I think her husband told me it's like $500 a person or something to get into that show. Oh, really? That's what I heard. I okay. could be. That's what he said. Maybe he's kidding. <laughs> I don't know. We'll, yeah, well, we'll you know what? Out. She probably is a vendor out there. She, that's maybe what she does. Vendor. Yeah, right. maybe as a vendor. Okay. And also, talking about that pink slime, let's get this yeah. food thing going here again. Yeah. What um, else do you got, Diane? Okay. Well, you know, they've been bringing up the fact that pink slime was in the meat. Mm-hmm. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and the USDA allows up to 15% in the hamburger meat. And all it is is a filler, but it's ammonia-treated fat from the meat trimmings. And they, you know, they treat it, they fluff it all up, and then shove it back in the meat. And it's ammonia hydroxide. (laughs) Look at Bev's face. (laughs) It's disgusting. Uh, Ammonia hydroxide, which is harmful to eat. And it can turn into ammonium nitrate, which is commonly used in explosives. So, with no, oh, isn't that nice? yeah, with no nutritional value. Well, that, I know. Why are they allowing? Yeah, you know why people have problems and need gas yeah, eggs. Exactly. Um, <laughs> you know, many. You know, why would they do this? Why would they allow this? I, I can't. I can't. I can't understand this at all, that they're allowing this. And they've had many cases of E. coli and salmonella from 2005 to 2009 in the schools because it's in all the school lunches. Mm-hmm. And the thing about it is three times in Kansas they banned um, that slime from being allowed into the hamburger. Now, and the schools, this is what's really sad because all our kids are eating this stuff. The schools only save three cents per pound That's by it. using this meat with that garbage in it. Yes. Oh, so Lord. I'm glad that it was brought out into the light because, you know, McDonald's, Burger King, and Taco Bell have dropped using that. But what I'm upset about is that we don't know. Where, food. where you can get the meat without that. It's in. It's in, you know. I think that's over enough information 80%. where I wouldn't even want hamburger meat anymore, you well, know. I, I rarely, yeah. rarely yeah. use it. Like we were just talking about, I know uh, Trader Joe's, because I buy a lot of stuff from that store. I absolutely love that that's store. That's what my cousin and says. He's a new It's new, all how do you say organic that? <laughs> meat. Yeah. No slime of any color. And Chipotle. Also, is a safe place to eat if you're going to dine out. That's what I've but, heard. But they said it's in so much of the meat that, and they don't have to put it on the packaging. Well, there's beans and rice, you know. That's right. There you go. Eggs. And chicken. Yeah. Right. Okay, <laughs> we have to take a short break, and we'll be right back. We've got to get some gas eggs, quick. Yes. <laughs> we got to go and get gas. <laughs> 18,000 women will be diagnosed with breast cancer this year. Please take time for monthly self-breast exams and a yearly mammogram. Early detection could save your life. This healthy life message brought to you by MyTran eShop at 24035 Sunny Boulevard in Moreno Valley. Transmission expert for over 15 years, family owned and operated, foreign or domestic. That's MyTran eShop. 24035 Sunnymead Boulevard in Moreno, Moreno Valley. Stop in or call 951 243 7675. Once again, that's 951 243 7675. That's my Tran eShop 24035 Sunnymead Boulevard on the air because they care. And we're back. Yes, we are. Oh, I feel better. How about you guys? Yes, we got rid of all the gas. Yes, which is which is quite lovely. And in a few minutes, uh, we're going to be talking to with Christina about the headdress ball. But there's a couple of things that we want to bump out very quickly. This weekend, yes, this weekend, on tomorrow, Saturday, is number uh, ten. Yes. The dent tomorrow. <laughs> She's getting you guys confused. Tomorrow right. is March 10th. <laughs> yes. There we go. And plain English, all and in one sentence. You can talk about <laughs> Devas if you would like to say. You want to bump this out? Okay. And I'll do this. Our, our friends at Devas Fashions in um, 
Redlands are doing a fashion show at St. Adelaide's Parish at 27457 East Baseline Street in Highland. And that is tomorrow at 11 a.m. The phone number where you can get more information is 909-862-8669. And I'm sure they're going to have some great things for you to see. Yes, they are. I have on a blouse, I have to say really quick, from Debbie that owns Debbie, which uh-huh. Debbie is her daughter. But anyway, I have a blouse on to do that. Yeah, I, I, I got from too. there. Yes, <laughs> and I wore one of her um, tops last weekend when we were doing the show. Great stuff. Yes. And oh. then also this weekend, Terry, uh, this woman, she is the greatest person. She's from down south. I just love to hear her talk. From Peak Inside, and they are on 40th West Stewart Avenue in Redlands. Dun, dun, dun. They're having the re grand opening. They redid the whole store, everything from top to bottom. Every even the windows got replaced. Mm. And they are having tomorrow on the tenth and Sunday on the eleventh from ten a.m. to five p.m. And the phone number is nine zero nine seven nine eight nine nine four four. I am definitely going to go down there, and I got to see what's going on. Yeah, so that's on Stewart and what's the cross street there in Redlands? Stewart and And Orange. West of Orange, right? Right. You go down Orange, you pass the Vaughn Shopping Center, you go to the next uh, street, and that's Stewart right there on the right 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 side. Right by the Kikorian Theater. Yes. um, And uh, why it's lighting directly across the street. But if you, Kikorian, did the street just before you get to the Kikorian, you make a left, and there she is. Yeah, you can do that. Or go down Orange and come down the other way. Or you can go, no, I'm just kidding. Or, or, (laughs) or, but I'm going to go probably, uh, I should finish up at the the salon about 2 o'clock, and then I'm going to head over there and check it out. Yeah, so I'm you definitely going to be in town. I am definitely going to be there. You're cool. going to be there after 2. I'll meet yes. you over there. Sounds good. Yes. And also, real quick, uh, one more announcement we want to bump out, and then we'll be hitting the headdress ball. Our good friends for a huma- uh, Habitat for Humanity, and they're on 25948 Business Center Drive in Redlands. Phone number 909-799-6738. They are having a sale, 30% off all tire, tile, light bulbs, and light fixtures from the 13th of this month to the 17th. Also, they have new and used building supplies, paint, tile, carpeting, doors, windows, appliances, tools, furniture, and much, much more. So pop down there and see what you can find. And they're open Tuesday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And who would like to talk about the gala that's coming up? Yeah, that sale starts on the 13th, folks. So the 13th through the 17th Mm -hmm. at the ReStore, which is the store for the Habitat for Humanity. And they accept donations of... um, Items for building supplies, etc., and also cash donations. And they're doing a Hope Journey of Hope Gala, and um, that's because of 20 years of building hope. And they're honoring their humani- humanity volunteers. So if you're interested in attending, that's Friday, March 23rd from 5:30 to 9 at Orton Center, University of Redlands, 1200 East Colton Avenue in Redlands. And um, you can get more information by going to www.habitat the number four humanity dot net forward slash events. Right, and they're having live music, cocktail hours, a silent auction, a dinner, and awards. And we do have a phone number for them also, 909-478-1176. One more time with that phone number, hon. 909-478-1176. Yes, and they were on our show here not too long ago. Very fantastic people. Yes. And they are going to start um, sometime in April. The schedule is supposed to be where they're going to be building three new houses, all volunteers. And I, Diane and Christina, we are going to be at one of them events.